Hey guys, um, sorry for having been gone for a while. Um, I actually feared making this video a little bit because I, I feel so just weird coming back and I have so many things to say, so I was just avoiding making a video. So I'll just make a quick one explaining what happened. So first of all, um, Leo, um, I think it's hilarious the fact that you made that one video and that one video was actually recommended to people how random um but i'm like very glad that it happened because i think it was hilarious um and uh that's actually the picture of us in our hats both of which are lost see that owl hat whoops pretty cool i don't know where it is and your monkey hat as well. What's happening? Okay, so I was gone because I actually had COVID. <laughs> um, I, um, so before that, I, I can't remember why I wasn't making any videos. I think it was just a time thing. I couldn't really coordinate um, with other things that I was doing, but um, about three weeks ago, or actually three and a half weeks ago, I was infected and three weeks ago I developed my first symptoms. Uh, fortunately, I managed to get a test because that's a big problem in Poland. Um, you can't really qualify for a test unless your symptoms are very severe and very typical, like the loss of um, smell and um, taste or very high fever, which I didn't have either of those. Um, but I had other symptoms and fortunately my doctor actually sent me um, out for a test um, and it was positive. So I had to quarantine and my boyfriend actually, he also saw me the four days before when I started developing symptoms. So he automatically also had to quarantine. So we decided to quarantine together. Um, my boyfriend, whose name is Luke, by the way, I can't remember if I told you that, but so we ended up quarantining together for two weeks in my apartment and um it was actually fine um i <sighs> he didn't have any symptoms and he also had his covid test done it was also positive but he didn't have any symptoms and i had your usual cold symptoms like a scratchy throat a little bit of a cough a little bit of a temperature um, just general feeling tired and headaches and back aches and muscle pain. And that was the worst. Um, I was in a ballet school, so I think I have a pretty high threshold for pain, muscle pain. Um, but no, I've never experienced anything as painful as that. Um, and I also had two surgeries and I never needed that many pain painkillers as I did this time. Uh, but other than that, I think it was fine. Um, I think it was kind of a surreal experience because um, the police was checking up on me, like making sure that I'm not leaving my apartment. And people were very nice, like a lot of people that I haven't heard much from before would like call me and ask me if I needed them to bring me groceries or crosswords, puzzles, and things like that. So it was actually very nice. And we took the quarantine kind of positively. Um, it was, we don't live together, but we quarantined together for two weeks. And it was the longest time that we were sort of like together in the same space. And it was very positive. And we came out of it thinking that, okay, we, we could definitely, you know, we could definitely stand um, more of this time and um, actually the time that was the hardest during quarantine for me was the end of it because then I had to like go into the supermarket and that was really traumatic for me somehow after like two weeks just with Luke and with Primrose who was currently illegally walking on my dining room table but So yeah, it was kind of traumatic, like getting out of the house and going to the supermarket and like being on a bus. Oh, I, I 
honestly, the day that I knew that I can like get outside, I didn't want to. <laughs> so all in all, it was a positive experience. Um, I think it was a, a, a more positive experience for me than for like 85% of people. Um, so I was glad the muscle pains were horrible, but painkillers are a wonderful, wonderful thing. And I was definitely hooked on them to the point where I think I, um, I think I damaged like my, um, stomach, um, like mucus lining. Um, so that's a problem that I need to fix now. But other than that, um, it was fine. And so, um... Yeah, that's my explanation. Uh, I'm doing I'm doing fine now. So yeah, and I'm immune. Well, not a hundred percent immune, but immune-ish. Um, so that's positive also because I'll be waiting for that vaccination. I think till the end of this year, probably with just how um, efficient Polish healthcare system is. Um, which it's not, <laughs> but um, it's public, so there you go. Um, so anyway, yeah, uh, I will talk to you guys later, and uh, have a good week. Bye!